This video is on volume of a cone and volume of a pyramid. The volume of a cone is essentially the same thing as the volume of a cylinder, except you're multiplying that by one-third. So it's going to be one-third the base times the height, or volume equals one-third pi r squared times the height. So let's take a look at an example of this. Although we're only given two measurements here, 5 centimeters for the height and 1.5 centimeters for the radius, that is sufficient amount of material in order to find out the volume of a cone. So I've plugged in the information that we have here, 1 third times pi times 1.5 squared times 5. I've squared 1.5 here for 2.25. Multiply 2.25 by 5 to get 11.25. Multiply 11.25 by the approximation of pi, which is 3.14. And the last thing I'm going to do is multiply that number by one-third, or it would be the equivalent of dividing by 3. And when I do that, I get 11.775, this would be centimeters cubed because we are talking about volume, and I would probably round this off to 11.8 centimeters cubed. Volume of a pyramid, very similar to volume of a cone. Formula is essentially the same thing. It's going to be one-third the base times the height, and it depends on what your base is would determine what you're going to use as your formula. Um, so if it were a rectangle, you'd be using length times width. If it were a square, it would be side times side. So looking at the example, I filled in our information. So since we're using a triangle as our base, we're going to be using the area for a triangle, one half base times height. One thing I want you to note here, though, is I've used a little b here instead of a big B. A big B is going to be used for the base. It's kind of the base of the um, pyramid, so that's going to fluctuate. Once I get into the area of the specific uh, base that I'm trying to find, um, it's going to go to a little b. So that should be um, something you keep your eye out for. So, filling in the remainder of the information, uh, 1 half, 5 times 12, 5 times 12 is 60, so half of that would be 30. Next, I would go ahead and multiply 1 third times 30. It's just uh, easier to do that than multiplying 30 times 8 and then dividing by 3. So, 1 third times 30 would be 10. 10 times 8 would give us 80. So the volume for this uh, triangular pyramid would be um, 80 meters cubed. So just a few things to remember here. Uh, the big B is going to represent the base for the cone or the pyramid until you replace it with the formula for the area for that shape. And then once you do that, it may convert to a little b if you're looking for a triangle the area of a triangle. And these formulas really is the same thing as the volume of a cylinder or prism. You're just dividing by three or multiplying by one-third.